In my last Fusion Splicer training video, I demonstrated how to use the 71M ribbon splicer. This splicer is great for working on the distribution fiber network working at the DJL. It can also be used for the local fiber network for the deribbonized fiber at the FJL and BJL, but it's much slower and a greater chance of not splicing correctly. So with the mad rush now to get the local fiber network completed in time, it's best to use a core alignment splicer to make sure you splice quickly with no defects. So in today's short video, I will demonstrate how to quickly prepare, cleave and splice fibers at the FJL and BJL quickly and effectively, turning you into the ultimate fiber samurai. So first you'll need to prepare your fiber. So with your tri-hole strippers, remove 30 to 40 mil of the fiber coating. Then carefully remove the buffer coating. Now take your lint-free wipes, moisten with some pure alcohol, and clean to it's squeaky clean. And then take a dry part of the cloth just to dry off the fiber. Now open the lid of the cleaver and make sure the blade carriage is in the forward position and the bid lid is open. Lower the fiber into the groove with the fiber coating at the correct mark on the ruler of the cleaver. Clamp the fibre into place, lower the bin lid, close the cleaver and push the blade carriage forward. Carefully remove the fibre and then carry out the same procedure with your second fibre to be spliced. Now with the splicer lid open, you carefully drop the fibre into the V-groove. Try not to let it touch anything in the process as this could contaminate the fibre. The fibre end should be directly between the two electrodes. Once in place, drop the clamp to secure the fibre. Now do the same with the second fibre you prepared earlier. So now I'm going to set up the splicer. First thing I'm going to set it up to test in manual mode. So I'm going to select the fibre type. So I'm going to go to G652 and I've got all turn standard. I'm going to make sure standard is selected. So the first thing I want to do, I'm going to show you is an arc test. So let's just go back to the home screen, press the left menu button, and there you see an arc test. And go press go. As discussed before in a previous video, you don't have to arc test before every test, but every once in a while, especially if you get some bad splices, it's good to do so. Once I'm happy, I press to do the test. The splice will move the fiber of the cores up, down, left, and right to align them. Once aligned and happy, press the go button. Okay, the splice is carried out and it gives you an estimated loss. And if I press the arrow again, it'll just do a proof test to make sure the fibers have held well. So now we've done that, let's show you how to do this in automatic mode. So we go back into the menu. And in the operational settings, I'm gonna take arc pause off. So it naturally jumps straight into an arc test and put auto start on and heater auto start on. So now it's already in automatic mode. All I need to do is shut the lid. The splice will jump straight in to do a very quick arc test. Once that's complete, there'll be no pause, it'll jump straight in to do the splice if everything is okay. And it'll do a quick strain test to make sure the fiber holds correctly. I then can pull up the splice sleeve. So it's in position and pop it straight into the first oven and the splice will just get going with heating up the splice sleeve. I can now get my next two fibers that I've prepared and pop them into the splicer to do my next splice. Clamp it down, shut the lid and off it starts to do its uh, its next splice. Just carefully take it out. We're now going to just pop this into the second oven. And the first fiber is now ready. 
so I can take that out and just pop it carefully onto the cooling tray such a fast and effective way to get through a lot of splices in no time at all so just to remind you that you only get the best out of your splicer if you take care of it this means making sure that the lens and v-grooves are kept clean and free of off cuts the splicer is a precision tool and will make your life very easy by lining all the fibers if you look after it if your splicer does need servicing then contact tmg support or 1-800-626-500 or if you want pricing on a new 72C kit or require spare parts such as electrodes or cleaver blades, then call our sales office on 1-800-680-680. Thank you. Until next time.